Hi, welcome to my Twilight Zone Power Playfield. I'm going to show you four mods. Some of them are easy, others they are not so easy. So let's first start with the easy ones. Four mods, this is the first. This is a lamp. In this lamp I placed a dark paper so there would be less reflection. And I killed one lamp. So the only lamp is working is on this side and it's right above this plastic here. So it shines on the top of the playfield. Actually uh, this brings up the lights underneath the power playfield which are now a little bit more brighter because there's less light from the top. That's nice. So uh, the other mod which is very easy um, I place some reflectors beneath the three flashing lights. Um, this gives more light through the playfield, it makes it, makes it stand out really nice. So that's the easy part. So now comes the more difficult part. First of all I'd like to thank Jerry Ellsworth for her inspiration. Her inspiration was for the LED mod that when you energize um, here on the right side you will get a flash and when you play on the left side also a flash. I will do these, this mod with white and blue LEDs. I have them here. You see, they're on. Uh, you can bend them a little bit, so it will work out just fine. I got these from PinballLED.uk, and they were given to me by David Mainwaring, who was here at the tournament. He stayed at my place for a very good time. So thank you very much, David, for the LEDs. He also uh, uh, gave me some other LEDs which I tested uh, in this machine and another machine I will show you later in this video. So the last mod is an easy one to replace these, these big um, grey switches they have to come off they, uh, they, they block the vision to the playfield so they will be replaced with low ones it will also be really nice. So let's go. As you can see, I've put some LEDs in here below my, the inserts of my Phaton, old Bali machine, 1981. As you can see here, the colors are, are actually quite good, but they flicker a lot, so uh, these LEDs are not suitable for an old Bali machine. So, I put the LEDs in the backboard just to co compare the colors to see uh, what they look like. So this is nothing what you see here, but I just want to show that it's a, it's a fatten. So here they are. So here are all the SMD LEDs, and these are the flexible LEDs, super bright. So this is super bright, and this one. As you can see, they are quite uh, nice, the colors. Nice red. I like the red, also the blue is good. So this is warm white and this is pure white. Then you have green which is also nice, which also fits nicely on my machine. And that's orange. I forgot to mention, this is all uh, alternating current. So that's 5.5 volts. Comes straight um, from the, from the power source. This one is DC current. So these two are only DC alternating current. I can see no difference. So no flickering here. Very good. So here are the three LEDs. You know there are these kind of LEDs. So this is the orange one which is a very very nice color. Very good. This is warm white which is acceptable. And this is pure white, which is a little bit too, makes it here too yellow. So for all my doors, that would be a nice choice. So David, thank you once again for the LEDs, you're a very nice guy. And I will uh, use the white and blue flexible LEDs into a power field mod. And the other LEDs I will experiment some more. Thank you. As you can see, the switch has come off. So why is that? I want to make sure that everything fits. 
So I took an old power field, this one, and I uh, took some lamp holders of this one and more. So this is a lamp holder, now it's pretty standard, but I formed the lamp holder into this. So why is that? So the play field is like this, so if you do this, then um, it will fit better. So it will go like this, and it will shine this way into the play field. So here, this is the back side of my power field. As you can see, these four lamps, they have uh, all have uh, aluminium foil added, so the light will shine more uh, onto the play field through the inserts. Here you have the low switches already connected them and here you have the flashers so uh, of course they are, this, these are normal lamps they will go like this right here and here next to each other I will take 5 volts or 6 volt alternating current from the orange wire and the white orange wire so they will, they will be all connected and these are the reed switches um, one and a half amps and uh, that should be enough so they will be somewhere here okay let's solder so as you can see here's a reed switch it's here and the other one is down there beneath all the wiring so I hooked up two lamp holders two lamp holders here and two here of course I and I took the power here from the orange and white orange cable so let's build it all in and see how it works so here's the test Remember, it's fun to create, and of course, many things went wrong, and that's not on the video. So, uh, enjoy. Almost.